Okay, so let's move towards the topic which is parasitic nature of virus. Okay, so what's the parasitic nature of virus? What does parasitic means? The virus which exists or lives in our body are called parasitic. The first point is that virus are intracellular parasitic. Virus are intracellular parasitic means virus virus go inside the living body and utilize the host cell means it get living inside the host cell inside our body is called intracellular virus just live in inside our our cell that's why they are calling like a living outside of the body it is like non-living because they don't have any kind of a metabolic activities or machineries let's move towards the second voice that is they infect the host according to their satisfaction like the TMV virus affect just the plants the TMV virus will not be affecting animals or humans likewise the Take the example of the E. coli, which was the T4 phage, which was which attacks the bacteria in our body to the intestine <clears throat> to harmless this. So the T4 will not attack to plant or like animals. It will just attack to our human body. So the virus just infect the host cell according to their satisfaction. Let's move toward the likewise take the example like TMV <coughs> infects tobacco plants. Likewise take the example of the T4 phage. T4 phage was in in the lytic cycle. <coughs> if you guys remember, I told you that T4 phage and T2 phage that uh, that attack the E. coli in our body T4 T2 you can also say you can also take T2 now <clears throat> some other virus have this specification on particular cell particular cells not every cells on particular cells some of the virus have this specification or you can say the <clears throat> now let's move toward this toward the fifth point which is that polio virus infects only the spinal nerves the spinal nerves are infected when the polio virus is in our body now let's move toward the next point which is the cold virus cold virus is common not flu they are not talking about influenza they are talking about the common one cold virus <coughs> infect upper respiratory system now let's talk about what's the difference between upper respiratory tract and lower respiratory tract upper respiratory tract means from nasal cavity to the bronchi will be the affecting of the upper respiratory tract if you guys are talking about the lower respiratory tract will be the from bronchi to the lungs and alveoli will be the lower respiratory tract cold virus just affect the affect the upper respiratory tract which is from nasal cavity to bronchi okay 
or take the example of the lower respiratory tract which is influenza it will it will uh, infect the lower respiratory tract because it will just it will effect on our lungs which which is coming in in the lower respiratory tract okay so let's move towards the second point which is rabies rabies virus infect all the mammals like us the rabies virus was like <clears throat> which is found by fox dog and many other animals animals that form the rabies virus after the bite of the dog the bite of the fox will cause the rabies virus in mammals now let's move to it while the polio virus infect human being and other primates as well him as likewise the a polio virus was attack attacking or infect human beings likewise the polio virus also attack to primates what are primates primates are the order in which the monkey chimpanzee and other animal is coming so this polio virus will also affect the this order which is the primates primate is basically the order in which these animals actually exist so the polio virus will be infecting us as well and this order as well so this was the parasitic nature of the virus 